freedom to choose the jobs you want when you want. This video is sponsored by Avail Logistics. With the driver demand at an all time high, now is the time for drivers to come together and fight for fair conditions, more control, better rates and more freedom. This can be done through the Avail app. Avail wants to get rid of agencies so that drivers can get better wages, have control of where they work and choose their own work pattern. Want to know more? Download the Avail app today. Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Luke. Thank you very much for watching, I do appreciate it. Something a little bit different today. Um, if you've been following me on social media, on Facebook and Instagram, you will know that I've been doing uh, traction work for Asda. And that is what this video is gonna be. We're gonna be doing work for Asda. So we are just doing our daily checks. The truck is there. As you can see, it's all by itself because um, we need to go and get a trailer for Mazda. Uh, we're working out of Didcot. And essentially what we've been doing is uh, all week, We've been doing this. Today's Thursday. Uh, so yeah, we've been doing this Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And we go and do two runs a day, pretty much. Um, today could be the last day. So you never know. It might only be one delivery today, I'm not sure. Um, could be two. Might even be working tomorrow as well, yeah, Friday. So, so yeah, we, we might have to work tomorrow. We're not sure yet. Uh, we'll see what happens. Cross that bridge when we get there, so to speak. But yeah, I'm just doing daily checks, checking out the vehicle, making sure it's all okay. I'll tell you one thing I do like about this truck, it's just there, that one and that one, is the spotlights. They are proper bright. I'm going to turn them on. <laughs> Let me show you what they're like. Pretty easy to access. You just press that button. There you go. Now we're on. It's lit up on the back now. Ideal at truck shows and stuff. <laughs> but yeah, they're bright. Anyway, let's jump in the truck. We are literally only parked around the corner from where we need to be. Um, got to be there for seven o'clock. So let's crack on and go grab ourselves a trailer. Right, we are here in Asda. I've just sort of parked up over there. You can see I've got the red poppies up there. Look, it's a bit foggy this morning. Anyway, we've just been given one of these. Uh, if you follow me on social media, Facebook and Instagram, you would have seen that I put one on there. But basically, it'll go off when they're ready for me. Um, the particular trailer that we want would be one of these. And it's currently being loaded. So, so yeah, we go sit back in the truck now, just wait for this to go off. And then uh, when it does, go get our paperwork, pick up one of these trailers and crack on. How long exactly until it does go off is anyone's guest. Um, they don't say. But the time is 10 past seven. So yeah, we just sit tight now until, uh, until whichever trailer is ready for us to go and take. Yes. I um I should probably take this opportunity to wish everyone a Merry Christmas. Thanks for watching me throughout the year. I do appreciate it. Um, I got a very short Christmas video coming out with some other vloggers. Um, to be honest, I've not put as much effort in as <laughs> some of the others, but it's it's nice nonetheless. I love the fact that the vlogging community can come together. So keep an eye out for that. That'll be out soon, or well, it might even be out before this video. I'm not sure. It was just me and some other vloggers and we're singing 12 Days of Christmas. Um, but yeah, no, thanks for watching me throughout the year. I do appreciate it. Um, I don't even know how many subscribers we've got now on YouTube. It's like 65,000, something like that. It's mad. That is mad. The I always say, when I got to 20,000, I was like, that can fill the O2 arena, 20,000 subscribers. And we've got 65. They can fill it three, three times. <laughs> That's mad. Um, but yeah, thank you. I do appreciate it. I really do. And hopefully we can finish the year with this video and hopefully it's a good one. Um, so as I was saying earlier, oh, by the way, we will have GoPro footage. I've got GoPro set up, ready to go. It's not gonna be all on my phone, don't worry. It's just, it's easier doing it on my phone for this little bit. Um, when we're driving, there'll be GoPro footage. Um, yeah, so we've been doing this, as I was saying this morning, uh, all week, Monday to Thursday. Today is Thursday. Definitely didn't want to vlog Monday, Tuesday because I just wanted to get the hang of it, get used to it. Um, you know, so I don't make any mistakes, really. <laughs> but mistakes happen. Mistakes happen. I've had some proper, proper dodgy pallets. Um, 
and luckily none of them have actually collapsed yet but you never know today could be the day could but by the way i've got to say um my whole interaction with a lot of the staff here in asda didcot has been amazing like they're so friendly um the shunter is nice the shunter offered me his staff card so i can go into the canteen and have breakfast for like two pound or something i never took him up on the offer but the fact that the mere fact that he offered do you know what i mean it's it, it's very kind uh the transport office the guys i've been speaking to in there they seem really kind as well like they gave me the number if i got any issues and you know they all seem extremely kind i had one driver <laughs> so, the shunter is just uh put his thumb up to me now or one of them um uh, what was I saying? Uh, one driver, yeah, because I had, I had problems getting onto a bay. Um, the bay, the bay's here. By the way, not a problem is in lining up. A problem is in pushing back because they got like these stupid roller system things. I'm sure people who do supermarket workers are aware of them, but I wasn't going back hard enough. I was being too gentle, <laughs> and so my wheels were just spinning. Um, and that driver came up to me and said, "I can see you're struggling, mate. Just give it a bit more, oomph, but don't go too fast in it. The fucking building." <laughs> Yeah, so a driver come up to me and he just sort of like said, I can see you struggling. Um, just give it a bit more oomph and you'll go back. Just don't hit the building. So, um, yeah, that's what I did and I got on first time. But, yeah, I just... My whole experience here in, in, in Asda Didcot so far has just been really friendly. Drivers have been friendly. Officers have been friendly. Shunters have been friendly. It's been really nice. Um, good place to work at. And all of the trailers are like almost brand new. Like the equipment is, is top notch. I can't fault it. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just some of the just just some pallets that could be stacked a little bit better. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> but yeah, basically what I'm trying to say is thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. It's not the end of the video. I know it sounds like the end of the video, but I just wanted to say Merry Christmas. Thank you very much for watching. I, I really do appreciate it. Let's have a good one today. Let's wait for this little buzzer thing to go off and then we can go and grab our uh, our trailer. Number five. Okie dokie. It's time to go. This is now basically saying that they are ready for me in there. So, let's go take it in and find out what we're doing. Okay, you can be quiet now. Be quiet now, please. <laughs> right, we've got our paperwork. Uh, we actually want the trailer right in front of us, pretty much. That one there. Double AB 21243. That's the one we want. Um, but before we do that, it's really good that they give you information on where to go. Zach exact locations and descriptions on what to do um but i always 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 look even pictures of the gate as well put it into sat now first i plan my route then i hitch it to the trailer and then when, we, when we've done that we can just crack on so i'm gonna um plan my route put it into the sat nav and then we can go right we are hitched up just put the anderson cable there then i thought where's the anderson port every trailer i've had so far has had an anderson port but i just checked there's no tail lift i'll show you let's put this back Right, so we've got trailer AAB 21243. We're hitched up, legs are up, brakes are off. We're good to go. Checking the uh, the lights, they're the uh, hazards. Oh yeah, because that was the thing. We were right opposite here, weren't we? Um, but the shunter, the shunter picked it up and I'm flashing. I'm like, no, don't take it, don't take it. But he took it anyway and he, he brought it down here, which is where we are now. And as he was going, I could see that the uh, side light on the passenger side weren't working, but must be an issue with uh, with his uh, turbo because it's working perfectly fine now look so yeah lights are flashing hazards are on back of the trailer could do with a wash difficult to do this with one hand but let's give it a go there we go so looking at the paperwork we've got most of the pallets and it's going to be some cages on the back end by the looks of it although ooh, actually it might all be cages okay never mind Let's have a good, let's have a good look in there. Get my steps. The rope to hold on to. I think it's all gonna be uh, cages potentially. No, no, so. One, two, three, four, five, six cages and then I think the rest is pallets. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. We've checked the load. Okay, I think it's just six. Just six pallets. Uh, sorry, six um, cages and the rest is pallets, I think. Happy days. Let's put that back in. And let's close the door. Nice. Right, so yeah, trailer's on. We're all hitched up, ready to go. Let's take the high vis off. 
it's an hour and a half to the first store and uh, according to the paperwork can you see me right? I think you can according to the paperwork so like I said they give very detailed instructions on how to get there I've just noticed my flies have been undone and the whole <laughs> I've been in the transport office but my flies undone um, yeah they give very detailed information on what to do where to go etc etc we've got to come off a roundabout there's like a car park in the middle second exit we go past the blue gate up to turn a circle turn around come back park on the right hand side and i believe we reverse in by the looks of it um this particular trailer's got no tail lift so it could still be well yeah they take they take the cages out the back with the forklift and then i could be in the back pumping it all off potentially uh or some stores i've seen have got like a scissor lift i've not actually used one yet this week so that could be interesting if i've got to use that we'll see See, look at the guys are just so friendly. The shunter there just um, just put his thumbs up to me. The other shunter recognised me. I haven't seen him before, but he's recognised me. From the old socials. Everyone here is just really friendly. It's a nice place. And, like, I had a little news round. I had a shower here. They've got showers. Um, canteen that serves hot food. and They've got pool tables. Uh, table tennis. Darts. <laughs> in the canteen. It's, it's, yeah. Really impressive. Really impressive. We don't have that at Harry and Zons. <laughs> no pool table for us. It's proper foggy out, man. Proper foggy out. What I might do is do that and then do that. So you can see me a little bit better because it's a little bit dark out. Just put a bit of light on. So yeah, it's... um. Would I want to do this full time? I don't know. Just the start of the week, it wasn't familiar. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> it's very manual, manual labour intense. My arms yesterday were absolutely killing me. My arms were. Um, I think it just obviously the more you do it, the more you get used to it, isn't it? So should be right. Now, I don't, no one has actually told me I've got to use the weigher on the way out. No one's told me this. So I have just been going around over lorries using the wear. <laughs> Plus, it might sound silly, but you know if you're overweight, if you're like massively overweight, you know. And I'm, I've definitely pulled heavier than this trailer in the short amount of time it's taken me to get from where I've been or was parked up to, to where that weigh bridge is, weighing scales. Um, I can tell you categorically, I am not overweight. I don't need to check because I know I'm not because I've pulled heavier than this <laughs> doing site work with building blocks and everything my truck is pulling absolutely fine so I know I know for a fact I'm not overweight 100% no question about it uh, it's 10 past 8 my colleague Rich is over here I don't know if he's probably still sleeping <laughs> he don't have to start until 9 and he finishes late as well I don't know if anyone is up I'll put my thumbs up just in case probably asleep <laughs> but um yeah man it's been it's been quite enjoyable i'm not gonna lie but i am also looking forward to finishing um so as i record this it's thursday just before christmas christmas is sunday um last year we finished on wednesday <laughs> and it's thursday and i'm still working so i'm hoping today is the last day i'm not going to lie but there is a very very real possibility that they ask for us to come back and do something tomorrow as well I can see it happening. I really can. I can definitely see that happening. Um, you never know. This could be the one and only run we do today. You never know. Uh, or we could be doing a second run and then go back to the yard. We'll have to wait and see. Um, if we do a second run today... Where, is it? where are you going? Straight over. No, you're going left, but you're not indicating. Indicate. I hate it when people don't indicate when they like going on to bloody roundabout do you know what I mean like syndicate I want about to stop never mind um what was I saying yeah so if I do two runs I probably won't be finished here until like four or five o'clock something like that and then obviously I've got to get back to the yard as well so it's an hour and a half back to the yard back to Swindon um so we could be back sort of seven o'clock ish hopefully if we are back today but the thing is right I don't I don't want to assume I'm back tonight because I honestly I've got a feeling I'm going to be working tomorrow so yeah, that means I've been out all week as well because I've not been home this week. I'm definitely ready to go home today. It is Thursday today, isn't it? Hey Siri, what day is it? 
It's Thursday, the yeah. 22nd of December, 2022. Thank you. Um, yeah. <laughs> For a second, I was like, what, what day is it? <laughs> anyway, let's crack on to Farnborough. I'll see you when we get there. And, um, yeah. Take all these pallets off and cages. I'll see you in a bit. Okay, this is the part of the video where we talk about the Essential New Truckers Handbook by Malcolm Green. I promise you, if you want to know anything regarding HTVs or, or working hours or anything like that, then you need to purchase this book because everything is in it. Uh, and if you are already a HTV driver and you think you already know about all this sort of stuff, buy it anyway because it's going to refine your existing skills. The Essential New Truckers Handbook by Malcolm Green. Link in the description down below. Go buy yourself a copy now. Mm. Oh. Keep yawning. Keep yawning. Anyway, we're nearly here. We're only a mile away, just over from where we need to be. Um, we have noticed that doing this work for Asda, you're supposed to be turning up at a certain time to the stalls, but they're not giving us um, the times that we've got to turn up. <clears throat> so every store I've been to this week have said you're early. I, I went to one yesterday in Reading. I got there uh um eight o'clock in the morning half past eight something like that wasn't due there until 10. <laughs> so yeah every store i'm getting to is early so that's nice i'm a nice surprise when i turn up not <laughs> anyway i have also been told that we are working tomorrow and like i said earlier i expected that i did expect that we were supposed to be finishing today but I could just tell that there was more work that needed doing. Don't know, I just had a, I had a really bad feeling that um, we needed to work an extra day, and, and we are, so... Yeah, a little bit frustrating. I'd like to go home, to be honest. I've been out all week now, so or well, we'll have. So, come to work Monday and not go back until Friday. But it's part of the job. And it's not often I do that, so... Got to bite the bullet, ain't ya? Gotta bite the bullet. Anyway, this roundabout we're coming up to is the one that's got a car park in it. Car park in the middle of the roundabout. I do believe we were supposed to come in from a different way, according to the paperwork. But that's another thing I've noticed. Some of the paperwork, it's like it's giving you directions from a different location, like a different starting point. So you can't always follow it to the T. So. Anyway, I'll call you back later, Rich. <laughs> Rich is calling me. Yeah. I'm uh, just going to rock up to this destination. And then I'll give him a call back. So, we want to go down here. Turn left here, look. And then we want to get in the right-hand side lane for this next one. Okay, come down here, it's all clear, let's go. Oh yeah, this is the one with the car park in the middle. So there must be two then. Must be two. I think this is the one that they were talking about in the paperwork. I think they assume you come from that location, which is where the M3 is. Never mind. Anyway, as is down there, but we want to go around the back. They call it back a house. As the parking. And I think I got to reverse into the blue gates, I think. By all accounts. Zebra crossing is clear. Uh, it says no superstore deliveries between 10 and 7 at night. There's on the paperwork it does say as well that um, be very quiet. I guess it's because of the noise around here. Um, the houses. Anyway, we've got to go spin round around here apparently. Apparently there's a turning circle. I think where this Range Rover is just parked. Where are we supposed to turn around here then?
this is supposed to be the turning circle. Um, store is on your left. Follow past delivery entrance to the end of road to turn a circle. Turn around and park in allocated space. So yeah, I was supposed to turn around in here. What? Um, well, I don't know what to do here. I'm going to, like, just start positioning myself, I guess, and wait for it to clear up. I guess it's the only thing I can do. I've got to wait for two cars to move out of the way. Once these two cars move out of the way, we can do it. You can't, I don't think you can quite see. There's two cars, uh, orange one, or ready one, and then the Range Rover on the end. Once they move, we can spin round. Just a case for waiting for them to do it. <laughs> well, I think they're both going now. It's good timing. That has the colleagues telling um, that car to wait as well. Cheers, mate. Lovely. Right, this is the waiting area here. So I guess... I guess I need to go find someone and see if they want me in now, I guess. I don't know. Put the hazards on just in case. Oh, right, see in a bit. Right, there I am, parked down there. Got to uh, press the buzzer. Can hear it ringing. Lovely. I think we reverse. I don't know if you can see, there's like a cage thing there. I think we reverse, reverse up to that, I think. Yeah, so they're not expecting me for an hour and a half. Um, <laughs> He just said he's got a load of stuff in the way, he can't get me in, so I need to wait. He said, how long? He said, an hour and a half. <laughs> so yeah, we're waiting for an hour and a half. Nice. And there she is. We're just gonna stay out here now. Wait until they call us in. But at least we span round. We're ready to go. So they really wasn't expecting this whatsoever. Never mind, just jump back in the truck. Two hours later, two. We're still waiting to go in. <laughs> Not a fan of waiting around. Um, he did just come over to me and I undone the window and I said, that's a long hour and a half, mate. <laughs> I I hate it when people tell me they're gonna be like X amount of time and they take longer. I asked my wife, little things, even if she says like food to be ready, like dinner be ready in like five minutes and only takes 10 minutes to be ready. That's five minutes over in my book. Just tell me you're gonna be 10 minutes. <laughs> um, it, I think it always goes back to my retailing uh, 
customer service sort of experience, I always tell people things would take longer than they would actually take. So then when you finish doing it and you phone them up, oh yeah, come and collect your laptop. They're happier because it's been done sooner. If it's the other way around, tell someone it's gonna be quicker and then you take longer, it just makes people upset and angry, which it does with me anyway. Um, if you're not gonna be ready in an hour and a half, tell me you're not gonna be ready in an hour and a half. Anyway, it's been two hours. He said, they're still cleaning stuff up, moving stuff out of the way. Not ready for me yet, so don't know how long I'm gonna be out here for. No idea. <laughs> um, but I've not had to wait this long at any store this week yet, so this is a first. Never mind. He just come out and said, uh, didn't realize that you were an agency driver. I said, yeah. He goes, that's why you've turned up early. I was like, they just tell me to hitch up to a trailer, mate, and go to this store. They didn't tell me what time. But like I said earlier in the video, every store has been like this. Um, saying that we turn up early. We're not told what time to turn up, so. Never mind. Um, are we still gonna be doing two drops today? That is the next question. We might only be doing one. I don't know. If we do two, it's gonna be a late finish. Um, we start, I started at seven. Well, started at quarter to seven. Um, and I've been asked not to do more than 12 hour shifts. So we've got to be done by seven, really. So plausible that we could do something local but then we're not that far away anyway where we are now. So, yeah, I don't know. We'll cross that bridge when we get there as well. But yeah, we'll, uh, we're still waiting. Still waiting. Still waiting. Still waiting. Yeah, three hours. We've been out here for three hours. <laughs> I'm either going to be finishing really early tonight, this afternoon, or... I'm going to be finishing really late, one or the other. But at this rate, at this rate, I'm going to be here until at least half past two, which would mean I wouldn't get back until four-ish. Drop the trailer, hand the paperwork in. Could be half past four. And I'm not really supposed to work after seven, I don't think. I'm not supposed to do more than 12 hours. So... It might be the only thing today, I don't know. Let's see. Just boring, to be honest with you. I'd rather be home, spending time with my kids. Do you know what I mean? Uh, never mind. Ooh, this reminds me. Big boys like big toys. It's one of my new hoodie designs. Go and click the link down below. Teespring, Luke's in HGV. I've got loads of new designs. Uh, this is one of them. Big boys like big toys. So, we turned up at half past nine this morning. It's now... 10 past one, um, so we've been here, what's that? Three hours, 40 minutes. Yeah, yeah, about three hours, 40 minutes. It's, it's getting on four hours, and we're gonna be here for at least another hour once we do finally eventually get let in. Um, <laughs> we're gonna be here for a long time. Um, but I may have had a little bit of good news. My boss has just messaged me. This isn't set in stone yet, but he has said, would I like tomorrow off? And I replied back, hell yes. I'm just waiting for, just waiting for a reply back to that. Um, so I don't want to get my hopes up, but I could be going home tonight, driving home for Christmas, literally, potentially today. Um, and there's an airplane. We're by Farnborough Airfield. There's an airplane taking off. And... We've been here for so long now, I am starting to think they're not gonna send me out for another job, surely. If we left now, we'd get back at half past two. We're gonna be here for at least another hour uh, uh, and a half. So that's uh, four o'clock. We're not getting back before four o'clock. And I gotta be finished by seven, so there's no way they're gonna be send me somewhere, unless it's just half an hour away, wherever they send me. Any more than sort of 30 minutes away, then I ain't gonna get back before seven. Plus, if I am going home, I need to go home as well. Drive back to the yard. So, yeah. Could be finishing today to go home. Maybe, but I don't wanna get my hopes up. Just maybe. Right, we are finally in and getting tipped. They're giving me this scanner to scan the pallets. Huh. Do I scan that? No idea. <laughs> Don't give me stuff I'm not trained on. Oh, uh, I think I worked it out. You've got to scan the green ones. I can't quite reach it yet. I'll have to get that in a sec. Heave! Heave! Yes! 
Yeah, boy. Right, will you scan now? Yeah, that's better. So annoyingly, the barcode isn't on the same side of every pallet. That would have been easy, wouldn't it? Much easier. Spam that one. Woo! Yeah, boy. Might be giving this thing back, you know. It says network error. Boom! It's no good, is it? Yeah, boy. Right, that was not me. Not me. Where's the screen barcode that is? Shebang. 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 Oh shoot, this is two pallets. Which one did I do? That one or that one? Shebang. I think that'll do. Right, I've got to do that coke, so I'll leave that there. So I know to do that one. So now we've got to undo this. Every now and then they're like strapped up just for like safety. Need two hands for this though, don't I? Nope, I can do it in one. Like a boss. Like a boss. Yeah, boy. Um. Where are these green stickers on these then? Huh. Two o'clock in the afternoon right now. And uh, we've not done much. Not done much at all. That's <laughs> how so much we've done. We've got all that to go. <laughs> beep, beep, mother Hang on, there we go. Oh, yes. Anyone want any Budweiser? Where's the barcode? Other side by the looks of it. Noise. <gasps> Come to daddy. Where's the barcode? Where's the barcode? There it is. Booyakasha. You say hello to my little friend. Oh, hang on, try again. <laughs> Say hello to my little friend. Woo! Yippee ki yay, mother. Yeah. Wee, well, hey, last one. And there we go. Boom! Yeah, boy. Right, that's all the pallets off. Well, I say off. We've got one on the back door ready to go off and one ready to be pushed down. But we're at the front of the trailer now. And, uh, I believe we've got one cage to go back, so we've got to basically move these straps to the front of the trailer. So when the cage goes on, we can do it up. I'll show you in a sec. Proper fiddly. Oh, did that quite quick. Just uh, put that on here. We'll go three in. Do the same for our strap as well. There we go. Three in. Lovely. So when we get the cage in a second, we can uh, put that strap around it, basically. Lovely jobby. We got ourselves a cage. Yee! Yeah, you get yourself over there. There we go, you stay. There we go. Cage is on and secure. Lovely. Right, we are out. I just had to get out quickly because there was a George truck waiting to get in. But we are out. We are tipped. And uh, yeah, it's pretty much half past two. Um, we ain't going to get back until like four ish. But also, technically, I've not actually had a break. So, I mean, I have had a break, but I've not had my break, do you know what I mean? And I'm sorry, but I'm not counting sitting outside an Asda warehouse store for four hours as part of my break 
with no food or drink. I tell a lie, I had drink, but I had no food. I've had nothing to eat today. Um, it's half past two, <laughs> I've had nothing to eat, and I wanna go and have a break. So I'm heading back, or heading back towards Didcot, but I will be stopping to have a 45 minute break on the way because I'm entitled to my break, do you know what I mean? And my boss won't have a problem with that. Whether Asda have a problem with that, that's a different matter, but <laughs> my boss won't have a problem with that at all. So I'm going to have a break, which means I won't get back. Hang on, I need to sneeze. <laughs> About until, until like quarter to five. And then there's just no chance I'm going to be sent out somewhere surely because it'll be gone seven before I get back. And that's over 12 hours. So, and I've got to get back to the yard as well because I'm going home today. Although my wife does not know. The last my wife heard, I was not home. So I might keep it a surprise. <laughs> Let's get out of this roundabout. It's a naughty roundabout. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. You're coming round, you're indicating, but you've got you change lanes. Yeah, I'm making that, I'm making that, I'm making that, I'm making that, I'm making that. Yeah, boy. So, and I need washer fluid as well. Washer fluid level does loo. So yeah, we're going to um, stop for a break on the way back at some services. What services are on the way back? Reading, potentially? Yeah, I think Red yeah, Reading's on the way back. Um, so I'm probably going to stop at Reading services and have a 45 minute break, which I am perfectly entitled to by law. And although technically I've had a 45 minute break according to the taco, I've not had a break. Not really. So I'm stopping. Anyway, see you in a bit. Right, <laughs> finally made it back to Asda. It's quarter to five almost. We left here at eight o'clock this morning and we're only getting back now. Stupid, stupid. I did stop for a 45 minute break at Redden Services. So, um, yeah, I had something to eat and drink. Disposing of my time as I see fit. Oh, let's get let in. Hello, Hi, it's Luke. I've just come back from Farnborough. And then hopefully in a few seconds the gate opens. Here we go, gate's opening. <laughs> Do -do 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 -do. Right, I don't want to film too much in here, so I'll see you in a bit. Right, so yeah, like I said, I don't want to film too much inside, but yeah, we've got to, got to go give our paperwork in now. Uh, and see if we do have to do a second run, but I do hope that we don't. Right, paperwork handed in. We are done! We are now going to be driving home for Christmas. Oh, I just should have put that paperwork in really as well, never mind. Too late. <laughs> Too late, sorry. <laughs> Let's go and aim now. So that's all our paperwork. Those hazards can come off because they are annoying me. <laughs> she just said, I went in there, she said, you started at seven? Yes. You just come back now? <laughs> it's <like>, yes. <laughs> it's not my fault. It took bloody five hours, was it? <gasps> oh, hiccups. Hiccups. Let's let this truck go out first. I think there's a truck that's going to be going out. And then we can spin round on the spot. I'm not entirely sure you're allowed to, but we will. Uh, Uh, what am I doing? What am I doing? Lights, 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 lights. Okie dokie. Spinneroni. Yeah, so we should be back in the yard. Mm, maybe half six. I think we're going to get caught up in some traffic on the way back, to be honest. Um, what can you do? Do you know what I mean? What can you do? We're leaving here at quarter past five just gone um we're gonna get rush hour traffic on the way back so we're just 
do what we can do. Not going to rush home. I'm off now until New Year's Day, I believe. So uh, plenty of time off. I believe Kieran is going to be driving my truck as well. So um, give it a little bit of a spruce before I leave completely. And uh, yeah, then we can go home. Spend time with my wife and kids for Christmas. Anyway, I'm going to crack on. I will see you um, probably in the yard. Is he pulling over? I think he's pulling over. Yeah, I'll see you in the yard. Um, I shall say bye to you there. See you in a bit. Okay, so I may have accidentally have left the yard without ending the video. Um, I'm sort of halfway home and I just thought, ah, I need to say bye. So I pulled over, turned the ignition off, and uh, I'm just going to leave a quick message now. Thank you very much for watching this video. I really, really, really do appreciate it. But it's not just this video. It's it's all of them throughout the years um, and, and this year as well, obviously. Um, we've been creating videos since 2016. Um, so that's six years now. Um, next year, we'll be going into our seventh year of creating and uploading video content. You know, I've been doing this for a long time now. And with or without the views, I would carry on doing it because it's I enjoy doing it. Um, it's not about the views, it's not about the numbers or the money or anything like that. I, I upload videos because it's what I enjoy doing. But the fact that people like you watching now do watch the videos, it's just, it blows my mind. Like I said earlier, I think I said earlier, 60 something thousand subscribers and that could fill the O2 arena three times, man. Like, it just blows my mind and I can't thank you all enough for watching my content. I really, really, really do appreciate it. Thank you so much. I hope you all have a fabulous, wonderful Christmas. I hope you get everything that you want and that you ask for. And I will see you in the new year. Thank you very much for watching my videos. I do appreciate it. Merry Christmas, everyone. And see you soon. Bye-bye.